Today, I'm gonna to show you the most private messaging app, which is powered by this new technology, which prevents people from ever hacking your phone. This technology was developed because so many people were reporting that the messages on their phones were being hacked. Police broke into phones to solve crimes. Angry people were leaking texts and images to embarrass their girlfriends or their boyfriends or fellow employees or their bosses. A perfect example of this is what happened to Kim Kardashian and Jennifer Lawrence. Do you remember that story? Kim and Jennifer used iPhones. They texted personal messages and sometimes sexy photos to their boyfriends. Because of the way iPhones messages worked and actually works the same way today, those personal messages and photos photos were stored on Apple's iCloud server. Five hackers were able to access the iCloud server, steal the sexy photos from the two personalities, and then sell them on Reddit. Needless to say, Kim and Jennifer were humiliated. I don't want this to happen to you. So I wanna show you the most private messaging app I could find on the internet. I spent days researching various messaging apps and the privacy technology behind them. Maybe you think you're in the clear because you're using messaging apps that are thought of is pretty private. For example, Snapchat messages disappear in 24 hours, right? That protects you if someone takes your phone, breaks in, and attempts to do some snooping around in your text messages. However, what happens if the message recipient screenshots one of your text messages or one of your photos that you send on Snapchat? Yeah, you may get a notification that the person screenshotted your text, but that doesn't stop them from doing it. They have your text message in their photos. Signal, Wicker, and Telegram are thought of as pretty secure because they use this technology called encryption. But what if that's not enough? Encryption in a messaging app converts your text and images into code. It's like when you used to write messages to your friends in Klingon so your teacher couldn't read them. Am I the only kid that did that? Let me demonstrate encryption. You write a message to your friend on your phone. When you push send, a decoder key number is generated and sent along with your message to the recipient. The recipient receives the message and can read it because he also received the decoder number. However, there's a big problem with traditional encrypted messaging apps. In order for the recipient, your friend, to actually get the message, it has to travel through a shared computer server, usually operated by the messaging app you're using. Using. Why is this a problem? A couple of reasons. If a hacker breaks into a shared server, he can access not only your messages, but also all the decoder numbers. If the police wanna read your messages, all they have to do is issue a legal subpoena to the messaging app company, and that company is obligated to disclose not only the decoder numbers, but the messages from their server. How do we get around this problem? We use a new technology. This technology has to avoid the shared server pass-through. It has to be unhackable. It has to not be susceptible to law enforcement subpoenas. It has to provide for self-destructing messages so that screenshots aren't possible. What technology offers all these features? It's one built on the blockchain. What the heck is a blockchain? It's a bunch of numbers like a database. These numbers store data just like a server would. However, the cool thing about blockchain technology is that there's no central place where all these numbers, all this data is stored. Actually, the data is stored in exact copies on a number of computers throughout the world owned by people who have volunteered to keep that data. Better yet, that data is anonymous and cannot be traced to you. Because the data Data is not stored in one place, it's called decentralized. Decentralization is that new technology that I brought up at the beginning of the video. Some messaging apps use decentralized technology because there is no central hub, no central server for hackers to gain access to and steal your messages. Police can't subpoena your text messages because there's no person, no company that they can direct that subpoena to. Now I'm sure your question is, where do I get a decentralized messaging app? Actually, there are a number of them. Chat Secure, Briar, Talk, Jammy, Element, Conversations, and Utopia. I'll put links to all these different messaging apps in the description section below. But I have to tell you, the one that I like the most is called Dust. This is not a sponsored video, I just love this app. The major investor behind Dust is actually Mark Cuban. He's that billionaire and owner of the Dallas Mavs. Dust is easy to install and use. It functions just like any other messaging service that you're familiar with. And the best part about Dust is that your messages are encrypted like we talked about earlier. They do not travel through a shared server and they disappear after 24 hours 
or a time that you set. In my opinion, this is the most private way to text in the world. So if you need to send sexy messages like Kim Kardashian or Jennifer Lawrence, check out Dust. This video is part of my new decentralized social video series. If you wanna be notified about subsequent videos, I'm gonna be talking about decentralized social media, video, podcasts, then please join my email list. You can join up by going into the description section of this video and clicking the link. Also, be sure and join me every week for Future Chat Live on YouTube. Subscribe and click the bell and you'll be notified when I go live. And watch these next videos. They're all about huge opportunities in your decentralized future.